Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike here from AXC Garage. Welcome to our channel. And today's episode, we have another JDM Classic EK9 Honda Civic Type R. On the next few episodes, we'll be doing some refresh, repair, and also some upgrade. Now, the car is almost 26 years old. It could use a little TLC. But before we take everything apart, let's take a closer look. Guys, first thing, let's take a quick look under the engine bay. Pretty good conditions, very clean overall, except some minor stuff like the cap here and probably this ground cable, that's really old. So we will get this all cleaned up. While we are here, we're gonna do a tune-up, some wire, some cap and rotors, and also we'll be doing a complete clutch job. So moving along on the outside, looking pretty good, got these Really nice OGT 37 in bronze. Look really nice with a championship white. Um, the first thing that I do notice is the car does have quite a bit of dent. Uh, some over here, as you can see. So that's something that we are going to be cover on this episode. We're going to have our dent guy go ahead and remove all the dent all around the car. As we take a closer look at the window trim, this bell moldings all worn down and also got some dent all around it. No different with the sash molding and the roof molding and we definitely go to replace those with some factory OEM parts. Move along to the back, the base plate of the spoilers, all worn out, something that we're gonna be taking care of on this episode. Moving along to the back bumpers, got some spider crack, got some damage right over here. So we definitely go to refinish the rear bumper, the lip, no difference with the side skirt. Some, uh, some imperfection all along there. Uh, moving along up to the front, front bumper, stone chips, along with the lip down here. So that's something that we're also going to be refinishing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the car up in the air. And let's go ahead and remove the front bumper, then the rear bumper, the side skirt, and the roof spoiler.
Well, my job is all done here. I'll pass you guys to Brian. All right, thanks, Mike. So we have all of the uh, parts, bumpers, everything taken apart in the body shop. We got everything cleaned up. So what we're gonna be addressing is we come close here. You can see it's got some cracking, some spider cracking. So we need to remove all of that. And we'll be using a uh, sander with 180 grit. And basically what we're gonna do is feather it out. Now we need to keep sanding until all the cracks have been removed. Once all the cracks have been removed, we know this area is good. So we'll move on to different areas along the bumper that have chips. Now I'm gonna show you some other parts on the actual other bumpers and lip kits. Now coming across on the rear bumper, it looks like it was hit. So we'll address it the same way. We'll sand out everything. We'll put a little bit of plastic filler where we need just to smooth it out. Now this whole, um, this whole body kit has endured some rock chips along the way. So what you'll see us doing in the next few scenes is sanding it down, smoothing it out, and then we'll go into the primer stage. At this point, once everything's completely sanded down, we can apply a primer. Now this is a tinted primer, so that's why it looks similar to the actual color of the car. We can take our primer and mix up some different toners so that when we go ahead and put our base coat on, we don't have to use as much material because white is a very transparent color. So if our primer matches our original color of the car, it's gonna save us on having to put so many coats of our base coat down so we're going to prime all the parts and the cool thing about this primer and any other high build primer is we'll be able to sand it nice and flat so the finished product will look nice and smooth A day later, it's nice and cured, and this is a time we're gonna go over with 400 grit sanding discs to make sure everything is nice and even. Now, there might be some times where you have to go back into the middle of a bumper or somewhere and add a little bit more primer like we did here. This is the time to get it perfect. You wanna make sure your surface is nice and level because the paint is gonna reflect how good or bad your prep work is. when we hop into the booth, we're gonna be spraying NHO. Now, NHO has a few different tints to it, depending on the year of the car, the model. So there's different variances. So it's very important to get the color right before you're putting it on the actual vehicle. So what we're doing here is we're applying our base coat. Our base coat is covering our primer sections here on the rear bumper. We went back and put a little bit more of a higher build primer, but it's still covering very, very well. We'll probably have to do two or three coats to get a nice, coverage on all of our parts but we're just going to show you one here and after it's all done it'll have a nice uniform look to it And here's a good view at our NHO base coat, all fully cured, waiting for the clear coat. You can see there's a lot of puzzle pieces that will fit onto this car. So it's a very good idea to make sure you spend enough time and getting them all dialed in properly. Now, we're gonna be clear coating here. When we clear coat, you only need two 
coats of clear coat. This is a high solids clear coat and that's all you will need for a very good UV resistance and a beautiful gloss. So on our first coat, which we'll be showing you here, we're not going to go too heavy. We're going to make sure we get the clear on. Now in the following coat, that's when we want to really make it look glossy and make it look like the rest of the car, which is a beautiful, beautiful shine to it. And well, while working on the car, I noticed that the front grille did not match the rest of the bumper and the hood. So a little 600 grit and we're giving the grille a little bit of scratch for our base coat to lie in. So now we know that our bumper matches our hood and everything looks nice and uniform. A little extra time will really go a long way when the car is all finished. After the front bumper came out of paint, we wanted to make sure our black section was nice and clean. So it's always a good idea to go ahead and sand that down, give it a little bit of a scratch so that our new SEM trim black paint will stick. We masked everything up and then when I went around it with some fine line tape. And what this fine line tape will do, it's going to allow to give a nice clean edge. And that's what you're seeing right here. We want a nice clean edge between the white NHO and the black trim. It's a little 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 details that really set off a build from the others Hey guys, while we have everything completely taken apart, we want to take the opportunity and get this headlight refinished. As you can see, the headlights start to get a little hazy. This is the perfect time for us to get them sanded down and put some clear coat on it. And with these headlights looking like new, it's going to transform the entire front end. So let's go ahead and get them off. All right guys, while well, everything just about to be finished with Brian at the body shop, we went ahead and contacted Kyle at Carmatic to remove all the dents around the car. And man, let me tell you, the panels are all perfectly straight. Super happy with the result. Now, before everything come back, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and put back the driver's side door panel. So let's get started.
and no front end is complete without refinishing those headlights so we sanded them all down and we gave them a nice couple coats of a beautiful high gloss clear coat this is going to protect them and really keep their shine for many many years to come And to wrap up things from the paint department, we finished up this black trim by sanding it down and we gave it a fresh coat of SEM trim black. This is the rear wing that gets attached to the hatchback. Guys, we got perfect timing as we finished up the door panels. Everything else just came back from Brian. Front lift, rear lift right over here. We have both side skirts right over here. The base plate for the spoiler over there, we've finished with SEM paint. We got front bumper, rear bumper, and the grill. Man, we have quite a bit of parts to put back together. Last start off, put back that roof spoiler. But before we do that, do what we normally do, and get everything else cleaned up down here. All right, we got the hatch spoiler all put back together. Next up, let's work on the rear bumper. We got the bumper sitting right over there, the rear lip over there. We got to assemble those two things together. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get back here cleaned up before we put a bumper back together. And for that, we got the perfect solution here. Turbo wax quick detail and a microfiber towel to do its job. Now that looked much, much better. Definitely satisfy my OCD. Next up, let's go ahead and put on the rear lip on the rear bumper. All right, we got the rear bumper all assembled back together. Let's go ahead and put it back on the car.
Guys, we got the back finish up and looking super nice. Next up, let's work on the side skirts. We're talking about side skirt. We gotta get this cleaned up before we can put that back together. All right, so we are all done with the side skirts. Next up, let's work on the front end. And for the first thing we're gonna do is the headlights. Let's take a closer look. We went ahead, we finished both headlights, set them down and we cleared them and they look fantastic. So next up, let's go ahead and get them installed back in the car.
Hey guys, just like that, we got all the dents removed, including painting the front bumper, rear bumper, both side skirts, the roof spoiler, and refinishing the headlights. And this wrap it up for episode number one on the Civic Type R. On episode number two, we'll be jumping under the hood, doing some mechanical repair, including replacing the clutch. So you guys haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you guys like what you see, make sure you give us a thumbs up. My name is Mike, behalf of AXC Garage. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you guys on the next one.